Good morning, sir. Ba, 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 ba. I love this music. Why are you playing this music now? Because I thought that uh, today is uh, the, Paul's last official day of being a single man. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to do something r related to uh, his singlehood. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. after a bit of plotting and planning, a yes. couple ideas flew around the room. Right. I didn't suggest this. Paul suggested this. Ah, <laughs> okay. Right, let's just get it right, yeah? But I love it, though. Yes, I okay. do love it, I must right. say. But I never thought that he would actually go in that direction. Okay. Yeah, it was difficult because Zena's dad is basically an equipment technician. He repairs equipment and installs equipment in the abattoirs. Okay. And basically, one doesn't need to say any more with that because obviously he makes these... Horrible killing machines. Yes. Okay. This is so, <laughs> so lovely. He, no, this, this, I must admit, this is this is guts, eh? This is guts. It was difficult to call him. Three, I must be honest. Three days before getting married. So you, to three, his daughter. Th three days before you marry Zena, you phone her father. Yeah, Butch, oh, Dad. Yeah. Butch, uh, Butch Rodman. Well, yeah. as in, he yeah. is Butch, or his name is really. No, Butch. his name is Butch. Yeah. Sure, I'd be terrified. Dude, the question. The man's employment. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Dad, Butch, it's Paul. Yes, how's it? Hey, how you doing? Good, are you on your way? No, not yet, no. We're stuck at Highfelt doing some meetings and stuff, so um, the reason I'm phoning you, and it's, it's been sort of bugging me for a while, and I've been wanting to call you about this, but um, haven't really had the balls to. Okay. Uh, uh, you, you know w w what it is that you do for a living, work-wise? Yes, yes. It's something that, for, for some reason, I mean, I eat meat and everything, but for some reason, it's just really bugging me. Okay. And, I mean, you know, as of Sunday, you, you're sort of going to be my dad and everything. And Okay. I like eating meat, but, I mean, really, it's, it's like you kill for a living. I, I just do the machines that does the killing. So you're like the scapegoat, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, basically, on any fist. A problem out in the country, then I go and I sort it out. You I know, think you're just putting the wool over our eyes. Then I go and put them in, and that's it. You know, then I don't see it again till whenever I go there again. You know, that type of thing. If you didn't make the machines or didn't fix the machines, then they wouldn't be able to kill, and that would actually be quite good. No, of course. I mean, the guys are. You, you got to slaughter so much a day to keep up with uh, the demand. You, you you won't believe the demand. I mean, if you take chickens, early birds doing like two hundred and fifty thousand chickens a day. Mm. The other side of this is, I mean, you know, you know what I do for a living with the radio and the TV and and all those bits and pieces. And yeah, yeah. It, it's also been sort of worrying me about what people might think when when my father-in-law, you know, when it gets out. Animals. Yeah. No, no, I'm not doing the killing. I just I just repair the machines and. And, uh, you know, like if we get new machines and I've got to go and test them, show them how it works and that type of thing. Yeah, but exactly. I mean, if, if, if you didn't do that, if, if you were doing something else, like being an electronics engineer like my dad or something, for instance, then <laughs> then, then nothing would be dying. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just a little bit, I, I am, I'm, I'm a bit worried about it. I know it bugs me and I'm just thinking about what it's going to do for my kind of credibility, you know, as a, as yeah. a celeb and all. It, it's worrying. It, it is a bit worrying. I, I'm, would you consider yeah. giving it up? Yo, <laughs> yeah, we we would, you know, I'm I'm like 50 years old, eh? you know, to try and get another job somewhere else. And I, I'm sure my dad could get you some work and 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 teach you some stuff. And uh, I mean, would you like to work for my dad? <laughs> you know, but uh, well, I'll be able to do the work your dad does. You know, he's like much more technical than I am. You know, that type of thing. I'm more mechanical. I would like you to think about it, and I mean, I don't yeah. expect you to go without a job and not have have money. Yeah. No, no, I'll think about it and see what we can do. I mean, if you had to do something else, what what do you think it could be? Like, in, you know, look, I used to do engineering and things like that. Um, well, you think about it, though, Dad. I'll think about it. You know, look, I want to make you guys all so happy, you know, that type of thing. Oh, shame. Uh, uh, Dad, m I've got a friend who works at Cash Converters, and they're looking for a new salesman. 
Oh, this is wicked. (laughs) 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 Mr. Reiterman. Yeah, I'm not wicked. How you doing, sir? (laughs) Very well in you. I heard that sweet voice of yours. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Reiterman, I think you need to test that machine out on your (laughs) son-in-law. Yeah, I think I should, eh? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday. Shame. Oh! That was guts, Don't buddy. mess with your father in law. <laughs> yeah, especially when his name is Butch. And also <laughs> when he makes machines that he can literally cut you to pieces. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just Paul's, remember that. Paul's going to be in the next batch of Poloni. <laughs> <laughs>